Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ty from 10 Thumbs Pro, teaming up with Jelly Note again, and today we're leaving the chords behind and we're learning some melodies, some of this. All right, House of the Rising Sun. We're gonna be looking at the melody. We're gonna be breaking it down note for note with some tabs on the screen, all right? So make sure you check the links below too because we have more tabs at Jelly Note that you can follow along a little more interactive. But all you really need for this one is your ukulele, the brain, and attention span. When you have those three things in, follow me on in and let's head to the House of the Rising Sun. He here in Buenos Aires has got me thinking of New Orleans, all right? I bet you the uh, climates are pretty, pretty similar, actually. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be breaking down the melody to this song. And to do that, we're going to need to count, uh, learn the time signature first. And the time signature is in sixes, so it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So let's go ahead and break it down um, the first four bars. Now, the first four bars, the chords are going to be A minor, C, D, F. Okay? The first note is before the first measure of the bar. So we're actually going to start on six. And the first four bars are going to look like this. Six, one, two, three, four, five, 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 six. All right? So you're going to need to understand some tabs. Um, the tabs correspond with the numbers. So that means if you play just the string, it would be zero. One, two, three, four, five. So for example, if the tab says five on the A string, you would count five. One, two, three, four, five, and play that fifth note, okay? So again, the first part is going to go six, one, two, three, four, five, 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 six. The next four bars are going to go A minor, C, E7, E7. And that's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so let's play through that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Da in, da da, da da. Alright? So, the next four bars, I'm going to go back to first. We have A minor, C, D, and F are our chords. But the melody is going to look a little different. It's going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, I messed up a little bit that part on the transition that goes. Alright, let's go ahead and play through those four together real quick, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the last four bars over A minor, E7, and A minor, A minor, will go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that six is the note that starts the whole thing over again. There is kind of thing. Okay, remember we're coming on the sixth beat, okay? So here we go from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's where it starts over. Okay? So that's the melody to the tune. So now you can see how the melody the chords correspond, right? If you really want to do your homework, what you should do is look at those chords and look at the notes that are playing over each of those chords so you can start to see how 
harmony happens, all right? Or how the melody and the harmony come together to make that magic, magic, tasty sound. Kind of thing, okay? All right, and that is the melody to House of the Rising Sun, a brief introduction, and um, how to read some tabs, okay? I hope you dug it. That was it. I hope you dig it. Um, now you know how to play that beautiful melody. Now you know the melody and you can kind of see how they combine with the chords. And we had a lot of fun with it. All right. So I'll see you next Saturday. Who knows what we're going to be doing next. Stay tuned.